What's up, everybody? Um, so, I, I made one take of this, but I'm, t I'm taking a two for this one because I, I want to make sure I hit more angles than I did. I've been thinking about this uh, for like the past five minutes, um, but I'm, I'm sure I've thought about it before. I want to I want to bring it to you. It's it's about peace and it's about contentment and it's about not having what you want but being okay during that circumstance. You see so many, myself included, uh, how just not happy about whatever situation. A lot of times I think the situation seems to be is because we're not happy because we don't have what we want. Right? We, we, we scroll through, so, and I'll say we, or I'll, I'll just say I. If this is, because I don't want to just put this on you like it is you, but me. It's like I'll scroll through social media and I'll see uh, maybe like these people in this relationship or these people have this or these people have that. And it's like, man, I, it's just like I'm, I'm down because I don't have that. I'm, I, or I'm down because I'm not in that situation, right? When prior I didn't even know that situation existed and I was making it but but we see those situations we, we see those people we see those things and we want them and because we don't have them it makes us depressed so here's a here's a challenge for you and I'll get to the rest for the next week for the next week unless you feel that it's necessary to just post something and get off or necessary that you read something on social media it is a challenge to not use it and see how your life changes see how many more things you do see how happier you are I think about the passage that many quote uh, Philippians 413 I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me but but it's not about gaining the thing with Philippians 4.13, let me start in verse 12. It says, I know how to be brought low, and I know how to abound in, ev in any and every circumstance. I have learned the secret of facing plenty and hunger and abundance and need. I can do all things through him who strengthens me. So it's no matter if I have so much or no matter if I have so little, I'm content because I have Christ. I'm I'm whole and I'm steadfast in, in, in him and who he is and, and who I and that relationship that I have with him. It's not all about the stuff, whether it's a bunch or whether it's little. I'm content in him and he strengthens me. That's how I do all things. No matter what the world throws at me, no matter what the world says I need, no matter what my flesh or what Satan himself says that I need to be happy, it won't phase me because I'm good because I have God. And he strengthens me and he gets me through the circumstance. No matter if I have very little, no matter, no matter where, if I have a lot, no matter either thing, I'm content. I make it through. I'm strengthened by Christ in my circumstances. I'm content. Uh, so we're not, we're not, for the week, hopefully we're not going to be searching and seeing it's like, man, I don't have it. Man, I don't have it. Man, I, man, I don't have it. When a week ago, we didn't even know that didn't have it, didn't exist, right? And sometimes we want things, and man, we didn't even know they existed until that first day we see it. And it's like, man, we got to have them. And then we're so down when we can't. And yesterday you were doing fine, or yesterday you were making it, right? Even the low situations, even when it feels like you can't make it. Don't feel like just being put in a different situation or having a different person is going to make you whole. No, Christ makes us whole. God makes us whole. He keeps us content in that relationship with Him and yourself. It's not your search situation, not your circumstance. The world and people and things are not our peace. God is. And I hope your next seven days go, go well. I hope your next seven days go well. Excuse me. And um, If you want to talk, I'm here. You can even encourage me to stay on the course. See you.